guys. Well, you get to see my face. Woohoo! <laughs> Young 40 Mom here. My name is Alicia. Um, I tried to do this earlier and I have a bad habit of putting my finger over the microphone. So when I went back to watch it, it was like, okay, I, I can hear myself, but it wasn't really there. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm doing it on a Sony Cybershot camera. This is the one that I usually use for everything. Um, I love this camera. I've had it for seven years. It has been my best friend, and I know I need to upgrade, but I think it's doing a pretty good job. Um, I do not have a webcam on my laptop because it's, like, uber old. A friend of mine gave it to me because lightning struck my house one time uh, a few years ago, and it didn't take out um, any power lines, but it ran through my cable. And because my computer was attached to the cable, it fried my computer. It fried my let's say it was fried the computer the phone line and my external hard drive that had my daughter's pictures and some home movies and things like that on there that kind of makes me sick but all i need to do is go and take it and um, um from what i understand they can they can take the memory out and hopefully salvage that because it's like a year and a half of video footage of her when she was little and um, of course now she's still little she's seven but uh, it was a lot of small footage that was just I just don't want to lose, you know, sentimental pictures. Anyway, um, just wanted to give a quick shout out. Um, I was at my stitchy spot when I did this a while ago. Now I'm back in the craft room um, because I only have one stitchy spot. As you guys know, you got some people have two or three stitchy spots, but I like to be really comfortable. I like to sit in my chair um, and have all my stuff around me, but I need to be comfortable and highlighting. Um, I have a an alt light that I got like for like 12 bucks and you guys know if you know about alt lights they are not cheap um, but it's the best thing to true light when I can't I don't have very many windows in the living room it's kind of dark um, I, I like stitching in my bed but I don't get to do that very often um, but anyway the the alt light that I got I got it at a place called Tuesday morning it's a discount place um, I'm going to change my hand because this one's about to die. Um, I guess I could have put it up to the tripod. Oh, that would have been smart. Hook you up to the tripod. Yeah, that would have been uh, a really smart thing to do. Anyway, I um, wanted to let you know, again, Stigy Spot, one spot. I'll show you here in a minute where it is. It's in the living room. Um, it's just me and my daughter that live here. So I'm a full-time mom and I'm full -time, I work full-time. I get up at 4.30 in the morning, so I'm uber tired. She has gone with her father to eat cake at his sister's house. Um, so I've got a little time to myself. And she's pretty good. I mean, you guys, if, you, if you've seen her little video she made, she really wants to make some more. It's so adorable. She wants to get out there. She just started basketball last week. Um, and a seven-year-old playing basketball is just a hoot. It's just the cutest thing. But anyway... Um, uh, okay, so you're going to see, um, I did a video clip I'm going to include at the end here, um, explaining, we're getting close to the giveaway, um, so if you would go ahead, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, if you would go to the giveaway video, um, and put a comment, it doesn't have to be about the giveaway, just, uh, leave a comment and I will automatically put you in the drawing as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, I'm, like I said, I think I'm like 28 away, uh, but anyway, um, quick, quick on the whips. Um, I want to try to get to you guys at least once a week. Uh, I am having such a ball with this. Um, to all you guys out there who um, have encouraged all of us to try to get out there, I've been wanting to YouTube for years. I, I just haven't had the. I don't know if I just haven't had just taken the time or didn't have the mojo or the gumption or I don't know. But anyway, so I'm doing it now, um, and hopefully you guys like my videos. I don't, uh, I'm just a country bumpkin from Tennessee who's, uh, whose heart's in Washington State. <laughs> yeah, I can explain that one day, but anyway. Um, oh, um, the Believe that I was going to do that I mentioned in my other videos by Stony Creek, I, I really, really, really want to do that. I wanted to do it for the holidays, but I don't think I'm going to get to do it because... I didn't pay co close attention to it when I opened it up, and I noticed that it has 
um, a lot of specialty threads that I'm going to have to order. And of course, um, Mill Hill beads. There's a couple of um, beads that I have to get. But kind of new to the beading and kind of new to the stitching on linen. I've always been an Ada fan. So um, I'm wanting to try something new. I just recently started doing the 22 count. And I absolutely love it. And I figure I'm, my eyes, I'm, I'm nearsighted really well. So I want to take advantage of that while I can. Sorry, I keep looking off. Just noticed that my cat has totally destroyed my blinds. Nice. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, so I'm really tired. I do apologize. Um, I'm going to have the clip of the, um, um, my updates, my whips and show you my stitchy spot here in about two seconds but um my craft room's a mess too and i've got to get on the ball but anyway stitchers thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel peace out okay so um here is my progress on my aunt carrying hot dog got his feet done and part of his body I uh, went ahead and outlined the top part of the hot dog and the mustard. And I got part of the hot dog done over here. Um, but I've added a little saying to the pattern and I can't wait to get it finished. It's going to be so cute when I'm done. Let's see if I can get in focus. There we go. Uh, worked on it a little bit. Like I said, my mojo hasn't been that great. Let's take my glasses off. Um, and here is the progress on... Um, the portrait I'm doing of my very good friend of mine and her son. Um, I guess I sh should have done this from a table, but I'm sitting in my my little spot. He's here holding a a teddy bear, and that's her. And but this is what I was talking about. Let's see if I can get it focused in. It's not going to want to focus, but it's a lot of white on white, and I just I don't like white on white. It's just I think I should have just left. You know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to move to a table. Hold on. Okay. Now that I move to a table, I can demonstrate a lot easier. See what I'm talking about? The white on white. Well, that's actually ecru. But the white on white, to me, is just a pain. But And I accidentally, when I put the hoop back on, I hooped it back in there. But I'm only working on this corner, so it's not bad. And I've decided, and you guys tell me what you think. I've decided to go ahead and let this go free. I'm just going to fill in the bottom part up to right here on this corner and again on this corner. I'm going to let the top go as like a silhouette. And I figured that would be really cool when I have it framed. The mat on it would, would be that shape. Um, I've seen some cross stitches done like that. Maybe not portraits, but I've, had, I've seen some like that with like flowers where they kind of outline the top of it. Um, and then there's some wording that I created that I want to put at the bottom here, but I haven't, uh, haven't got that done. And I'm doing this on 22 count, one over one, uh, which is what I prefer to do right now while my eyes are still good. But I don't know, you can't, I'll show you a finished picture of it after I get it done. But it, it's actually, the camera's not doing it justice. The colors are really, really good. They're more of like sepias and, um, black and whites. Or rather black and grays but anyway so this is this is a little bit of what I've been working on all weekend it's not it doesn't look like much and you guys know when you work on tiny stitches like this because this is the 22 count Ada like I said when you work on tiny stitches like this it just doesn't seem like you get very far and I have been working on this thing for years because I've been so frustrated I, I did the center part of it quickly but when it came to doing the border I was just like ugh I really don't want to finish this. But anyway, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, But those are the two that I've worked on so far. Uh, like I said, I haven't really done much. I haven't finished the whale tail, and I haven't worked on my... Um, my... Uh, Noah Sub. Yeah. Whew. See? Tired, old, memories going. That's what I get for getting up so early in the morning. Anyway, all right. Well, I just want to, like say, a quick update, and... Um, Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hope you like the video. It's really not that much. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or ideas, just feel free. Oh, shout out to um, 
uh, Thread Garden Jan, she had suggested that I show you guys how I create my patterns, my process, but um, I actually do want to do that. I dug through my stash and I found the very first, there's my stash, the very first cross stitch I ever created and I am going to do a video on how I did it. Um, I went through three stages to get to where I'm at now. Um, the first stage, well, shoot, I know what's in here somewhere, was freehand. Oh, there she is. All right. I guess I can tell you a little bit about it now. Um, this is the first one that I ever did, the first creation I ever did. Um, I did it in 1998. Uh, Cross Stitch literally saved my life. Um, I've been doing it since I was, oh gosh, let's see. 36 years since I was 11 years old but how it saved my life was I quit smoking in 98 which is when I made this um, this is actually something that my husband at the time drew and I thought that is so cool I would love to stitch that and so um, I'm gonna go through the process and tell you exactly how I came to be on this how I ended up with this pattern and it became this um, from his drawing um, and there's uh, another step that I went through after I did this um, and then to the computer program that I'm at now uh, that I like to work with but anyway so just a little snippet on that oh and we are getting really close to the giveaway guys oh I only need let's see I only had I only need I think it was 20 28 more subscribers so spread the word like wildfire if you haven't subscribed subscribe already leave a comment below on the giveaway tag or the giveaway video um, it's got my cat Ellie on the front of it and it says giveaway real big if you leave your name not your, well your, your name obviously will show up but <laughs> if you will leave um, a comment about the video or a comment of what you might want to see um, you don't have to mention the giveaway just leave a comment and you will automatically go in the drawing once we hit a hundred subscribers so please go look at the giveaway video subscribe to my channel you have to be a subscriber and leave a comment so you can get in the drawing and then as soon as you do that um, we will be giving the giveaway as soon as I hit 100. So update on that. Like I said, 28 more people. Spread the word. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Alright guys, this is my stitchy spot. This is where I tried to film a while ago. See how dark it is? This is why I need my Ot light uh, on all the time. Here are the projects. I think I, I went ahead and made a video. I'll include that after this with the, with what I'm working on. Um, and I had to go back into the craft room. But I have the one window there. And in the early morning, there's Maddie's desk. In the early morning, it shines really good right here. But um, in the evenings, not so much. So I usually have like, I'll have like this lamp on. In fact, I need to go ahead and turn that on. And then my Ot light. And I didn't get to explain to you any more about my Ot light. Oh my desk with my computer oh there we go see a little bit better my little office setup pretty cool let me get back over here got to get her to clean that up I'm trying to teach her how to keep things straightened up and put away I knocked something over what did I knock over oh my cell phone okay anyway the alt light um, it is for plants I thought that was just amazing. I thought, well, it's got a clip on it. It's perfect for my little my little setup here. This video is going way longer than I thought it would. This is my cross stitch bin. Um, I'll give you a little tour. I'm a huge Garfield fan. Love Garfield. Um, anyway, that's just some little odds and ends. There's my floss, my hoops, and all that. But, um, it never made it back to the craft room because I, like I told you, this is my only stitchy spot. So everything I do is right here. And it's perfect because I can sit here and watch you guys on the floss tube and the YouTube. Um, anyway, so I will go ahead and leave it here. Um, got my drink, my camera case, my food, my tablet. I'm good to go. I'm going to leave you with this note. Uh, my little desk set up there and yeah so we'll leave it with that 
and I'm going to go ahead and include the rest of the videos close to the giveaway, guys. So excited. I can't wait. I'm going to give away another stash, twice as big as this one, when I hit 250. I'm just so excited to want to do this, and I've seen so many giveaways, and I've been wanting to do the giveaways. Let's see if I can flip you around. Ah, and I'm going to try not to cover up the microphone this time. Hey, I did it. All right. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm excited because I want to give some stuff away. You have no idea. I have tubs of stuff that I can give away. Um, and the reason why I'm wanting to give away, you know, you don't have to pay shipping or anything like that. I want to build, I want to build the YouTube channel and awareness. You guys are doing such an awesome job. Um, spreading the word, trying to get more people out there on the YouTube um, and the Floss Tube too, so we can share our passions and our love for our stitching. Um, I'm the same way with crochet. I go back and forth because I get mon it gets monotonous for me for either one. So I like doing both. I do some other stuff too. Um, of course I work with the the plastic yarn, which is the, you know, the plastic bags turned into yarn. I love doing that. But anyway, um, I was getting to a point, you can tell I'm tired, Ah, oh, shoot. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Calico, awesome picture of you and Eddie Van Halen. I thought that was so I I did an 80s flashback when I saw that because we're close in age. And I was just like, I so could relate to that. That was just an awesome time in my life. The 80s were so much fun. And they were so colorful and everything was geometric and, you know, new wave and punk. And it was just... Oh, it's just a really great time for me. I met the love of my life in the 80s. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you for that memory flashback. And I like I said, shout out at Calico because you just, it was just awesome. Thank you so much for that nice little tidbit um, on that, that uh, September tag. It was really cool. Um, anyway, I was getting to a point. Um, Yes, my stash. Anyway, um, I may do a video on it one day. I don't know. It would take me, I am not kidding, hours to show you what I have collected over the past 36 years. Um, actually, if I see anything on sale, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not OCD, and I'm not, <laughs> although some of my coworkers would disagree with me. Um, I, I like to, if I find something on sale, I will get, if I can afford it, I will get as much as I can because you never know. I have enough cross stitch, crochet, knitting, scrapbooking supplies to last three, maybe four lifetimes. I'm trying to get my daughter into it. Um, needlepoint, books, I will never get to all of my books. Um, or my patterns, or my, my magazines. So, so yeah, back to the giveaways. Um, I'm going to do it at $250. i am going to do it at $500. i am going to do it at probably $750. If I go up that high, I, I just don't, don't think that I'm that entertaining. But <laughs> it would be great. So, anyway, subscribe, like, thumbs up, tell me what you think, tell me what you want to see. Um, and let's just keep sharing, because this is freaking amazing. Peace out. here with my camera should be interesting. Um, kind of lost my mojo for the past couple days. Um, went and saw a great band here in town, um, I mean, Cleveland, Tennessee, called uh, Arson, and uh, love their logos, the 80s, 90s rocker band. But anyway, um, I'm feeling kind of blue for the past few days, so I thought I'd let you guys give you a shout out, let you know what's going on. Um, Stitchy spot? I have one. Some people have two or three. I wish I had two or three. I've got my craft room, but I really don't sit and stitch in my craft room because it's where I, I 
do my sewing and things like that. When I cross stitch, I want to be, or even when I crochet, I want to sit in a comfy chair with everything around me, and that's where I'm at now. So, um, yeah, this is my stitchy spot. Um, my daughter's gone with her father to get, um, have some cake. Um, so I had a few hours, and I'm actually really tired. I want to take a nap, because I get up at 4.30 for my job every morning. Um, but anyway, um, just a quick shout-out, and I think I might have a couple of pictures of some of my stuff I've saved. Um, I've had to work on some stuff over the weekend, but I really, like I said, I'm just not feeling it. So, um, I can go ahead and show you a little bit of what I've got going on, because I want to try to get to you guys at least once a week because I've got so much stuff to show and I've got so much in my stash that it's going to take me a while anyway. Um, the Believe by Stony Creek, I've decided to put that off. Um, apparently I need all kinds of specialty stitches. I really didn't pay close attention to it when I was looking at it when I picked it out. I just thought it was really, really beautiful and, and I thought it would be really cool to stitch up for the holidays. So I am postponing that. Um, but I am going to go ahead and, um, uh, see if I can I'll show you my, my Aunt Carrying Hot Dog, um, that's on my Etsy shop. Um, that is one that I'm finishing. And I'm also doing a portrait of a friend of mine and her son from years ago. She's kind of been fussing at me because I haven't finished it. I put it down. But the reason why I haven't finished it, and I'll show you here in a minute, is the border around the silhouette that I created is a lot of white. And you guys know, white on white or black on black is just no fun at all. Um, at least it's not for me. So if you'll bear with me just a second, I'll go ahead and get that stuff. So yeah, hang on.